It's time to cook with Susan Beck. We're going to make apple dumplings today. We're going to make apple dumplings with a secret ingredient. We're going to use some cinnamon, some sugar, and a stick of margarine for our caramelly glaze. We will be using crescent rolls, and of course, apples for apple dumpling, and the secret ingredient, Mountain Dew. Very, very simple recipe here today. Let's get started with our apples first. We are going to peel our apples and we will core our apples. This is just such a quick recipe to make and I often make this when I find that I've got apples that are in need of being used. Sometimes, you know, you always have those fruits that kind of start to get a little bit on the softer side. My family really likes firm, hard apples, and these are getting old enough that they aren't looking quite as good as before. So this will be a nice way to use them up. In fact, I even see this one kind of has a bad side. So I think I'm going to peel another one here and use it. Now I find the easiest way to core these is to use one of these handy dandy apple cores. You just center the little circle in the middle over the core and press down. And voila, we have eight apple slices. Do the same thing, center it over the core and pop it down. Take a look at your apples though. I did notice one here that has just a little bit more of that core than I like, so sometimes I pop that out. Let's see, I thought I saw another one here. Here it is, where those cores aren't necessarily perfectly straight or you don't get them lined up absolutely in the center here to get them broken into those pieces and cored properly. Now we're going to use our crescent rolls and we will be wrapping up the apples with these biscuits. These are a nice flaky biscuit and that's what makes this recipe so easy is if you're not making any dough. I'm just gonna purchase that today. So each of these triangles will become one dumpling. So there's eight biscuits in these crescent roll packages, so we will be getting eight dumplings. I always think this serves four. Double it if you want to serve eight. We'll just give our pan a little spray with cooking spray so that as we make the dumplings, we can put them directly into the pan. So on each of these triangles, I am going to place two of these apples and just roll it over and wrap it up. So let's do that with each of these. Two apples. I like to roll from the longer end to the point, and there's our second dumpling. Okay, number three, and number four. And we'll get four more triangles here that we will roll. wrap up the last one here and then we will be ready to make our caramel sauce. So we've got all eight dumplings in our baking dish. Now I won't want to bake them in that metal decorative sleeve so here they are just on their own. So we are now going to melt our margarine or you could use butter. We have three quarters cup of white granulated sugar and we're going to use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's move over to the stove. I have this set on medium heat and I'm going to use a wooden spoon to do my stirring. And to make this caramel sauce, I just simply need to melt everything and bring it to just a low boil for a brief period of time because I want to get rid of the crystals in the sugar. Nothing worse than a grainy caramel sauce. The heat will take care of that though. Okay, everything's pretty well melted. Now it's just time to get it to boil. With sugary substances like this, they can burn easily, so be sure to stir frequently. 
Took about two minutes to get it to where I'm starting to get a little bit of a simmer there. We just want those bubbles to go for a little bit longer. That way we know the sugar crystals have all been broken down. This is a chemical change when we heat something and the color changes. And now we've really got that nice rolling boil going. We'll let that go for 30 seconds to a minute. And this is where I really need to be stirring, scraping across the bottom of my pan and around that groove on the side. Now that we've boiled our sugar, margarine, and cinnamon to make a caramel sauce, we simply drizzle it over all eight dumplings. And again, very easy recipe to make twice as many. Just double all your ingredients and use the entire can of Mountain Dew. We are going to just be using half the can today to make these eight dumplings. That secret ingredient is up next. All right, let's put that over there since it's warm. We've got our dumplings with that gooey caramel sauce, and now we're just gonna simply put half a can of Mountain Dew on there. Now, if you want, you could measure out the six ounces, or you could just eyeball or you know, kind of feel for the weight of when your can feels half empty. It's not a real picky recipe. All right, I have six ounces, half a can of Mountain Dew, the secret ingredient to today's apple dumplings. These are going to go into the preheated 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. I just removed these hot apple dumplings from the oven. Oh, the Mountain Dew and caramel sauce is just sizzling away down there. So we want to let these sit for a while so that kind of thickens and they're way too hot to eat at this moment. But look at that beautiful golden brown color. Oh, don't those just look tasty? That drizzly caramel sauce with the Mountain Dew mixed in and that golden brown crescent roll. I think we should give it a taste. Well, I've decided I'm going to have this with a spoon because we've got all that caramelly sauce down there and I really want to enjoy every bit of that. Mmm. They're just so sweet. Then you get the apple, though, that kind of cuts through some of that sweetness. Let's get a little of that crescent roll in the next bite. Mmm. And who doesn't love crescent rolls? Those nice and flaky biscuits. Mmm. An excellent, very easy dessert to make with that little surprise of Mountain Dew.